Hello, uh, dear students and uh, my viewers. Welcome to the channel, YouTube channel, Dr. Zia Ahmed. Here, mostly I record videos for the benefits of my students. And once again, this video is also on the character of Mumtaz from the novel Mark Smoke. Uh, the novel Mark Smoke is written by Mohsen Hamid. And uh, so we shall be talking today about this character as it appears in the text of uh, Mark Smoke. Uh, Matsumok may be taken as a novel on the city of Lahore, the people of the upper class and the men and women, how do they live and what type of life they spend, how much uh, prosperous, prosperous they are and how much liberal and independent they are and how their women behave to them and how their men are behaving. So in that way, uh, the students can get help from this uh, video, how to write a character and the viewers can uh, get a type of critical help in understanding the character of Mumtaz as it is portrayed in this novel, Matsumok. So let us start with the very thing it says that uh, Mumtaz is the representation of the modern liberal and upper class values. There are two quotes that I have uh, used here. One says, uh, be careful Daru. Uzi says, accepting his glass from Mumtaz, she's trying to divide us. Mumtaz sits down. Next to him, he drinks is stiffer than either of ours. Since you are one of my husband's dearest friends, she says, I have little hope for you. And the B also says, I look at Mumtaz's cigarette in hand, but refrain from finding out that the players of having a husband and son haven't eliminated her desire for the occasional puff. So uh, my uh, students can see that these two quotes go to talk about the thing that Muntaz is uh, sitting with her husband and the friend of her husband and taking wine. In the second passage, we, we see that she's smoking cigarette with quite an ease. And this goes to show uh, that she is habitual of drinking wine and prob probably the upper class society is portrayed in that way that they, for them getting up wine and taking wine is not that difficult. And even their women would do that in the presence of their men as well. So that is the type of woman we are going to face Muntaz. First characteristic of Muntaz is that she's independent, assertive, a feminist type of woman that she would assert her rights as a woman. She would take equal part in life. She would try to be the person who is independent and socialite and uh, taking care of her desires instead of becoming a traditional mom or a traditional wife. So that is the way how the character should be introduced. So in that way, the very first thing that I should say is that Muntaz representation of modern liberal and upper class values. And then I want to show you that uh, Muntaz is, as, a, as an introduction, we should say that Muntaz has been shown to be, first of all, Muntaz Kashmiri. Then she's talked about as Taji and uh, Zulfikar Mantu. Muntaz Kashmiri, Kashmiri is the very word which uh, sounds to us someone uh, beautiful, someone very attractive, a very good personality, as the Kashmiri women most of the time are. They may be intelligent as well. And similarly, Taji is the name which is lovingly taken by someone whose name is Muntaz. And then is Zulfikar Mantu, the third identity with which we are given introduction to Muntaz's character. That is a pen name, that is a pseudonym uh, used by her in order to write articles in the newspapers. This goes to remind us about the fashion of uh, George Elliott, who was Marian Evans in reality, but she used this type of name. But here, the reason in using is not hiding her name or identity. It is a type of privacy which she tries to have uh, by writing Zulfikar Mantu. So she's proud of that, right in that way. And therefore, let us enter into the character of Muntaz and see how more characteristics are available about her. For example, uh, in point three, I will show you that point three is about Muntaz as assertive, feminist, independent, and social. Two passages are here. The dance floor is packed. Uzi and Muntaz are shaking it down to staying alive. They make a sexy pair of welcome new addition to the scene, and I overhear the update missing like a writer's report. Aurangzeb and Muntaz back from New York. Very cool information is key at these things. No one wants to be caught holding social stock. That's about uh, about to crash. So this is here that we get uh, some introduction to the life which Muntaz and Aurangzeb are enjoying as the um, New York return couple. They are beautiful, they are sexy, they are important and they are followed by the people who are living in the hall and they give a very good opinion about them. They are shown to be dancing in the party and they are dancing very badly as well. So in that way we come to know that Muntaz as a wife is assertive. Muntaz's wife is feminist. Muntaz as a wife is an individual as well. She is the one who wants to hold her own. She is assertive because all the time she wants to 
get the equality of rights. She, she wants to tell her husband that it's not uh, he only to enjoy the privilege of player. She can also have that. She's a feminist because she all the time demands her rights and equality. And uh, so therefore, this is the introductory, introductory characteristic of the character of Mumtaz. Let's see more about her, what we can have. Uh, for example, when we see the next passage, it says Mumtaz is a mom. So it's very important to consider that uh, uh, how does Mumtaz behave as a, as a mom. The heading says that she was having a mixed kind of attitude with respect to mother. She wavered between two situations, extreme situations. One is modern, other is traditional woman. Uh, so if we read the paragraph, we will come to know that uh, uh, its first paragraph says that we are getting into our cars with these stops and us and was some and bed. I have handled him all night. Muntaz tells him, you check. Uzi shakes his head and goes back in. The second paragraph says, when she stops trembling and sobbing and can speak, I ask her why I am a bad mother. She tells me you are not. I stroke her hair. You don't know. She says frighteningly. And then she says that her own son says that uh, as a mother, she does not love him. So these are the two extremes with which the writer is now describing Munzaz's mother. First, she tries to hand over her responsibility of being mother and taking care of her son to Uzi, her husband, and asking him that he should also take care of the son. Now that doesn't fit her in the frame of a good woman and good mother in the context of South Asian mother as it has been portrayed most of the time that they should be sacrificing, they should be all the time binding with their sons and daughters and they should be responsible for everything the son and daughter is doing and Tal doesn't do so. In that way she becomes modern woman. But the second passage that we have read that goes to show that she is here a very much emotional mother. That when her own son says, okay, uh, you don't love me, you don't want to stay with me, you don't want to tell me the story, and so therefore you don't love me. At that time, Muntaz becomes reactive, and the most loving person in her life, that is Daru, she goes to him and weeps and tries very bitterly, and ultimately uh, tries to tell him that she loves her son, and she wants that this feeling of her son should be changed, and that is why she has come to tell him that she's not coming to him anymore. So in this way, there are two extremes when we discuss the character of Muntaz. She is a loving mother also, and then she is an independent woman as well. The next thing that we should capture about the character of Muntaz is here. That is, Muntaz is a lover, passionate, cool, and sympathetic. So Muntaz is a very emotional lover. For example, the first passage says that Muntaz comes in the morning uh, with halwa puri for breakfast, feeds me with her own hands. The halwa is still hot. Kisses the crumbs from my lips and she brings me lunch and dinner, omelette and pratas, wrapped in greasy newspapers. But then the second passage is about air conditioning. I'm not going to read this passage. Students should read this passage here in the slide or they can go into the text and find this passage and read it. But it's very important to read in order to find the psyche of Mumtaz as a lover, as a woman. These things that we should discuss here, these two things, first of all, that Mumtaz is a very emotional lover. When she finds that Daru is injured, Daru is not in good condition and he doesn't have the money and doesn't have the food to eat, she brings all these food things. And in this way becomes traditional lover of the folk tales of uh, Asia and Arab, where women have been found taking care of their lovers in a very loving way. But the second paragraph is even more important to reflect the psychology of this woman. Uh, air conditioning, for example, is the biggest issue for Muntaz. She does not like air conditioning. She wants to live in a home where air conditioning is not there. It's very strange that a, that a rich woman of higher class should not like air conditioning. Her husband definitely liked it very much, but because of some psychological issue, which happened with her in her teenage or in her age of university and college, at that time air conditioning make her sick and since that time she doesn't like it. So. She comes to meet Daru where air conditioner is not running because of the disconnection of electricity. So on the one hand, we have money and air conditioning, Mumtaz doesn't like it. On the other hand, money is absent and power is absent. Air conditioning is absent, she loves it. So in that way, it's a very strange kind of woman that she has preferred to stay with Daru for some time as a lover. One of the reasons, as Daru says, possibly is that he does not have air conditioning. And, and this thing was proved also at that time when Daru found that she also does not run car air conditioning. She likes to open the windows of car and live like that. So in this way, uh, this is one of the things which is involved in her finding a person who doesn't have this air conditioning. There's a third passage as well that we should look into about this uh, being her lover. It says, uh, Mumtaz picks me up after the lunch and then 
they meet some Alma Multani and the D paragraph says that I am Mumtaz Kashmiri and people want to know about my story and she says that she will be letting the people know. So if we keep an eye on these two passages, we will be able to know that Mumtaz is a little bit, uh, you know, superstitious as well. Why? Because she finds out, uh, with the help of Daru, she finds a woman who's called Alam, Alma, Alima Multani and there she goes to ask about her future, about this future, about her future with these people to whom she belongs to. So even after being a very rich woman, very upper class society woman, very educated woman, she is behind such women who possibly, I don't say that they are wrong, but I would say that they try to fleece money out of such a poor belief and superstitious rich woman. And same as the case with the paragraph that here Muntaz introducing herself and accepting publicly that she's got the affair with Daru and she may be ready to tell all that. So this is the type of lover we meet in the character of Muntaz. Let us go further deep into that and see the sixth character of Muntaz as a character. Six characteristics, I should say. Uh, here, the Zulfkar Mantu enters. She looks exhausted. I house my friend Zulfkar Mantu, I ask her. So in that way, the, the name is being reflected here. Daru addresses her with this name Zulfkar Mantu. And that goes to show that Muntaz is a person who loves to write articles in the newspapers under the pen name of Zulfkar Mantu. Her articles are so much interesting. And uh, she has taken the idea that she must continue to write as well. She must get benefit out of her education and she must get famous or fame also because of these. So she is the one who takes a very courageous and daring step and goes to the red light area with the help of Daru and there she meets Dilaram. Dilaram's story is discussed in detail in the novel and that story is the story of a woman who is beautiful but doesn't have any power to protect her and so she is exploited and ultimately she is brought to the prostitution house and right now she has lived all her life there and she is the head of one house. So that way the writer has taken some time in order to reflect about the life of the poor beautiful women who are exploited in the hand of power and these powerful people send them to, to the prostitution houses, sometimes their own husbands, sometimes their own lovers, as was the case in case of the novel Ice Candy Man by Babsi Sidwa, that the Ice Candy Man, the very lover of Shanta, brings her into the prostitution house there. So in this way, the beauty and the power are adverse to each other. Power does not protect beauty and power rather exploits beauty and beautiful women reach to such. So society is also responsible for this kind of stories which are existing in the novel. And uh, that is what the Zulof Karmanto means when she introduces herself as Zulof Karmanto. So these are some of the characteristics of Muntaz as a character as given the novel. The students should take care of all that. We can now conclude the story of uh, this uh, woman by uh, saying that Muntaz is a prototype uh, independent post-feminist woman or liberal society of Lahore. So in this way, Muntaz is a person who lives in Lahore. Lahore may be very traditional for the poor and middle class people, but for the upper class people, it's the new liberal society where money is very much important, where possessed connections, well connected with the power is very much important. In such a society, Mumtaz is living and she is a post-feminist woman as well. I say her post-feminist that not only she demands her rights and exercises at them as well, but also she knows how as a woman she can, uh, she can obtain her purposes of life. Uh, feminism possibly was the complaints, desires and demand of the women for the rights of women. But here, when we talk of post-feminism, it means that these are the success stories of women. For the sake of success, media has played a very big role and uh, women have come to realize that as a women, they can achieve some of their targets. And so uh, achieving of their targets becomes the success stories as it is the case with the Muntaz, uh, Zulf Karmantu as well. So in this way, a very, uh, very important, very significant, very critical character of Mumtaz has been portrayed by the writer in this novel, Maath Smok. Mohsen Hamid has brought before us the modern women, the well-educated women, the women who are no more willing to accept the dictates of men and accept the traditional roles so easily. They are there to uh, be exploited with love, but not with any force. So that is the type of character that we have here. The students may take care of all these points and uh, get help in writing the assignment on the character of Muntaz. We will be talking more about this, uh, some of the characters here, but so far it's over for the characteristics which are given in the novel uh, about the character of Muntaz. Uh, by the way, it may be pointed out that all these things have been driven, all these ideas have been driven from the novel, Maath Smoke by Mohsen Hamid, and a critical discussion has taken place. It's not necessary. 
that it is it, if it resembles with any of the characters in the real life there is no connection between the real life and uh, no no real uh, character is intended for that it's only fictional it's only talk on fiction as it has been given there so thank you for watching hoping to see you with some next videos